This here is a 1996 Ford Ambulance with the 7.3. From Alcorn? Where's Alcorn? No idea. No idea. So this is my bed. I realized I could just make the gurney the same level as this bench that's in here. So I put a couple little Walmart pads on there so it's level. We're on. My name is Wayne Hudson. I found Daisy Fresh. I watched a documentary on flow and uh, I live in, a, in an ambulance. I talked to Heath. Hey, I'm kind of looking to live in a van or something, you know, whatever. Put feelers out for me. And they happen to know somebody that, that had one and it had a 7.3 liter power stroke in it. It's like one of the best engines in the world and it only had 75,000 miles on it. So I saw it and was like, just engine alone, I'll take it for what he's asking for it. So. This thing's perfect. It's got storage for days. Got our TV in here. Nice bed for me and the pup. You know, we're living good. I got a heater. In the summertime, we just plumb the air conditioner. It's a house air conditioner right out the window in there. I stay cool. Oh, we got the LMC ER desk phone number if you ever need that right there. Got them on speed dial in here, you know what I mean? Save lives right here. Yeah. I never tested the seat belt. We could give that a shot. Fully functional, life-saving seat right here. And uh, yeah, I'll take my notes. I eat my food right here. That's like my dinner tray. So, we're on, man. I can't even act like I'm one of the guys, you know what I mean? I live like a king in here, so. Everybody see that? So I'm gonna take him up over my head with this. Okay, so we're gonna lift him, bring him here, and you're just gonna keep coming. I know it seems really cheap, but it's effective. Guys, remember. My name's Alex. I'm from Vietnam, but I'm studying in Baltimore right now. You can't like be online following jujitsu and have it you, not hear about Daisy Fresh. I saw guys like Andrew Wiltsey competing, Jacob Couch. And then I saw the videos of like people training here and like just like sleeping on the mats here, and I was like, shit, I gotta, I gotta get this shot. I've never heard from this guy. I've never spoke to him. He just showed up at the gym with uh, three backpacks and just said, hey, how much is it for me to stay? I just want to train. It's just like that. At least one person like that a week. Yeah, I saw the Daisy Fresh documentary on Flow. I just saved up all my money, like donated plasma, rep, and uh, came down here. And I've uh, the best gym in the world with the best people in the world and happiest I've ever been in my life. I did private security. I was making about $4,000 a month. I had three cars. I had my own spot. And I gave it all up just to come out here and live in a van and train full-time jiu-jitsu. I love it. My wrestling is getting better. My jiu-jitsu is getting better. And the whole experience is amazing. Yeah, you should interview my cat. My wife wanted me to clean it up first, but... Hello. You showing them our crib? Yeah. You're his wife? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Mike. Nice to meet you. Yeah, this little heater and it heats the whole thing up. I actually, wow. I actually have to turn it off because it gets too hot. I was sleeping here. What's up, kitty? And then she was sleeping in the back seat. So I had Jesse like cut out the frame for the bucket seat. So we put a whole bed back here. I basically just wake up. I give myself about an hour to wake up and then I train as hard as I can in the morning time, try to get at least like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we try to get at least 500 reps of something good. My brother and I, so that's a thousand reps if you count both of us. So it's about like four hours in the morning and then we'll train as hard as you can at night. So uh, yeah, I've just been trying to train as much as possible. You the gym cat? I just watch SpongeBob and uh, train and sleep, that's it. I'm CJ Murdoch and uh, I'm Josh Murdoch. From white to black, we're both from the same instructor. His name's Jerry Moreno in Newburgh, North Carolina. He barely even trains anymore. He plays the piano. They're wild as fuck, the murdering Murdochs. I don't know if they piss me off or I love them. When I was in Brazil, I got to train at the Today Kids Project, so it's literally the same shit here, like kind of favela style. Like I like to think that this like American favela style. The greatest guys ever in jiu-jitsu, that's where they're from, you know what I mean? Uh, Cobrinha, Andre Galval, the list just goes on. They come from like a special time, like that early stage of black belts where 
They had to train with a lot of Brazilians and they couldn't really get into their clique and they weren't able to learn much. They were kind of like uh, stray cats when I met them. Nobody wanted them basically, you know what I mean? They were like, oh, these guys are crazy. They, they got tattoos on their face and their necks and they're eccentric and they're wild. And I loved them, man, immediately from the get-go. Like, they're like mini Vikings, that's what they remind me of. They back down from nothing. They just, I mean, literally drill and train and work hard all day. If you, if you ask me, give me two people that love Jiu-Jitsu the most in the world, I would say it's the fucking murdering Murdochs. Those guys are unbelievable, man. If you ask him to train, he will never stop rolling. Like if I roll with him and there's no timer on, he's never the one to stop. Never. There's no way he'll ever stop. And I'll just be like, yo, like, it's been 30 minutes. Well, I'm really tired, you know, I'm like, I want you to quit, basically. And he's like, yeah, yeah, no worries. And then you'll just keep rolling, you know? Like, these guys are wild, man. We were living in a house in 1940s that was, like, abandoned for, like, I don't even know how long until we had, there was, like, anarchy signs spray painted on the walls. It's like, None it's, of the bathrooms work. Like, it was, it, this is actually like, nicer. And now we're in a better situation, which is just hilarious. Like, I got, I, I, I sleep, like, right over there as long as, like, the, the floor's dry. I don't think that there's any real so you, you sleep in here, but you sleep out of the car. Yeah, I sleep with my, my wife and my cat in the car. Yeah, if, it, if I was married, maybe it'd be different, but yeah. It's been a really long time since we've just been able to focus on ourselves because we've just like been trying to survive through jiu-jitsu. Everything happens for a reason, so I, I really feel like, like the universe just pushed us here because this is where we need to be to get better. Hi, <laughs> Jake. Now my story is right here. My Mima raised me from when I was a chitlin. All right, and all I ate was goddamn pork you know, fries. Do you know what chitlins are? No. It's, it's pig intestines. Uh, so you just you just call me a pig intestine. No, I ate, I ate chitlins. That's all I ate. All I ate was chitlins. Don't call me a fucking chitlin again. You ain't no chitlin, boy. <laughs> I'm the whole goddamn pig. <laughs> I'm the whole pig, boy. Right now we're all just in ADCC prep mode, basically getting ready for the trials. We got Pixley in here, and he's a multiple time national champion wrestler, so like our wrestling went way through the roof. Andrew got better, Couch got better, just everyone in the room leveled up. We've really, really stepped up the wrestling and you know, kind of turned towards more just uh, doing a lot more no gi stuff to get ready for this. The trials have been something I've dreamed of since, since I started training jiu-jitsu really. Having the chance to win an ADCC title is uh, something I've always really fantasized. Just the chance to be able to go out there and test myself against the best in the world is all I've ever wanted from Jiu-Jitsu. It's a matter of time before Couch realizes how good he is. I'm excited for him to go there. I think he's going to fucking break some legs or ankles probably. Couch has a really good chance of winning the trials at his weight. Couch is up there with the best black belts in the world. Couch, is, since he came here, has turned into a fucking animal. Like He came here, he was already good. And then a year here, and now he's just, dude, he's reached a whole, whole nother level. He's got his weight right, quit drinking Mountain Dew. I mean, he's a different animal right now. Dude, if he executes, he's, he has nothing to worry about. Jacob Couch and George Valadares. I think that you could see both of those guys at the top of the podium at the trials. This is our first one, and we'd really like to show up and, you know, like, uh, make an impact on that, like we have the IBGF scene in the last year, and, uh, you know, just kind of keep that ball rolling. Winning the world is big. Winning the pans is big, but man, winning an ADCC medal, this means that you are, without a doubt, the best no-gi grappler in the world that year, and that can never be taken away. It also only happens every other year, so it's kind of like the Olympics. You can't just sign up for this event. This is something you have to be invited to or something that you have to qualify for. So if we can get any of these guys into the ADCC, man, it would be literally a dream come true for me. I think it's going to be the biggest tournament that's ever happened probably. Just from COVID shutting everything down and nothing happening and then everyone just kind of just itching to get back out there. I think it's going to be fucking massive. I just feel lucky to be alive right now and be like a part of this, man. you know what I mean? Part of like jujitsu history that's going to go down forever. Welcome to Philly Cheesesteak Land. Here to make Philly and cheeses and steak. Paul Revere founded this country, and they let me know that he built the Philly cheesesteaks from the ground up. So he formed the cheese, formed the Philly, formed the steak, and you mash it together and you get a Philly cheesesteak. We're out here for the ADCC East Coast Trials. So we want to make a little pit stop. This is one of my favorite places, this is one of my favorite movies. So we're here at the Rocky Statue. 
What's it say, Couch? Jacob Couch, 88 kilogram East Coast Trials champion. That's funny. Isn't yeah, this like a trials. recreation of already what's happened, or is it the future? See, it's un American for you to have not seen Rocky. Can I? I, have I need seen that it. card. Permanent resident oh, card. Oh, bro. But. As a citizen, I'm gonna hold this until you've seen it. <laughs> you know, the Rocky story, it's kind of like our story. He didn't have a lot, and uh, you know, he was kind of always the underdog, and you know, we're always the underdog, you know what I mean? So, I just thought it would be a cool place to get the guys pumped up and bring them. People love an underdog. I think everybody always feels like they got a little bit of underdog in themselves. So when they see somebody come out and win like that, I think that's why Rocky is still a tourist attraction after 20 years. It's just because of what the story represents. Yeah, hopefully I can come out and bang with these guys, man. I'm fucking pumped. This, this is my first trials ever and also the deepest trials ever. It's something I've dreamed about since I was like a white belt. I've been able to win. I'm excited, man. It's my first one. So uh, I, I feel good, man. I feel the best I ever felt like physically and mentally. What's up, brother? You look familiar. I'm Rocky's son. Oh, really? Yeah, look at my stand. Wow. Yeah, you That's like good. I'll yeah, take some yeah. picture with you, dude. You want to take a picture? Yeah. You're Rocky's son? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you stay handsome, all right, mate? All right. Yeah. Rocky's son, that's the way it goes, you know? I'm just here to support and coach. You know, these guys are competing in the trials. It's obviously one of the biggest opportunities in jiu-jitsu, you know, and it's one of the most stacked fucking crazy divisions ever, so it sucks that I can't do them, but I'll go to Kazakhstan and have to beat some crazy guy that wrestles eagles and lions and shit like that, and I'll have to learn how to sprawl on an eagle or something, but I'm excited to be here. It's going to be good. Watch out. Reading terminal market. Couch, you can't go in, you have to learn how to read. Just got the advance to my DVDs. About to spend all that shit after the trials in this motherfucker. <laughs> this shit looks so good. Holy fuck. You're cutting weight, you can't go crazy today? Yeah, I can't touch it. <laughs> it's like a caged animal. Look at that, red velvet. You're talking about a red velvet. You see that pecan cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll with fucking pecan. Cheesecake, pineapple cheesecake, sour cream cheesecake. Sweet potato swirl? You gotta be fucking shitting me, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's not required to do it all in one body. In less time than he finished the Nogi Brown Belt Division in <laughs> Yeah, that's the biggest one you that's the biggest one you got. Yeah, that's one. Awesome. Have a good one. We've arrived at Atlantic City, right down there in that black hole. It's the boardwalk. We're at Caesars Palace, so we can secretly fit 15 people in one room. Hey, for real though, how much are you over? I think like six. Six what? Pounds. US or kilograms? He's how much do you think this weighs? <laughs> What's up? Have you ever seen one of these before? <laughs> oh, it's really soft. Oh, yeah. So I've been uh, preparing for the trials for like well over a year since before COVID. But uh, unfortunately, a week and a half ago, I uh, sustained a knee injury. And it turned out I had a torn meniscus and I had a ruptured ACL, so a torn ACL. Me and Heath came together and decided against doing the trials, which is pretty unfortunate and sucks, but you know, you get like a day or two to complain, and be upset, but after that you gotta get back into the gym and coach the guys and be there for your team. But um, from what I've noticed, I've been injured in the past, and when I come back from these long injuries, as long as I'm in the gym with the guys, I usually mentally come back better than I ever was before. And my jujitsu is a hundred times better. My jujitsu knowledge gets better and sharper. My technique gets better and sharper. I think it just mentally keeps you right where you need to be while you're injured, just being in the gym. So I don't plan on going anywhere. I just it sucks, but you know, the game never ends. So we're on the Atlantic City, New Jersey boardwalk. One of my favorite places. It's pretty badass. Get this bee out of here, man. You get it? Thank you. I'm very athletic. The uh, event is down at the showboat, so we're actually headed that way now. I'm just still a little tired because I'm still cutting weight, but I'm on weight though. 
I'm gonna go out here and pull this ADCC ticket back in my pocket, back to my brain. What are you gonna purchase today? Well, I don't have much money. So fucking not much, maybe some food. Maybe some food, some fresh air, elephant balls on toast. I don't know. Is the sun out of your eyes? No, you didn't put it on right, dude. Is that better? I'm fixing it. We don't want it to be outrageous. This is no way that someone could wear this. It's indecent. So y'all champions, who's the champ? Who's the champ here? Georgia. He's Australian champ. Oh, the Australian. Australia. Okay. All right, then. I'm proud of that. I like that. I just, my, my ears aren't fucked up because I don't get punched. Oh, okay. okay. You slip. So you yeah, slip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get out of the way. <laughs> There's a lot of characters out on the boardwalk in Atlantic City walking around. Uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of back home. It's a little refreshing. <laughs> if Las Vegas and Mount Vernon had a baby, it would be Atlantic City. Just like a little kid walking around on a carnival. So it's it's awesome, man. Jiu-Jitsu and Keith, being with him allows us to do that. Every single weekend we get to do something that we love and explore a new city, meet new people, experience new things. And that, that's what I enjoy most in life is, is that right there. So getting to do shit like that with, with people I love, just life couldn't get any better. Good to see you. Pleasure to see you guys. You guys are amazing. What you did is just make me want to cry, guys. Seriously, no, really, you've done you done just you're changing the world. Right? No, really, like seriously. Six minutes. Okay, three minutes, no points, three minutes points. Finals are eight minutes. Four, four minutes, no points, four minutes, points. I'm Mojas, I'm the head organizer of ADCC 2019 and 2022. I'm here for the biggest ADCC trials of all time. Put it this way, about 15 years ago, the North American trials were averaging about 100 people. I broke the record, West Coast Trials 2019, with 350. This is 750, 800, so to more than double in one ADCC, it's a dream come true. One athlete will stop. Jacob Couch has been on a tear. He's really leveled up. I think he really established himself as a, you know, a big superstar at the Who's Number One Championships, taking out Roberto Jimenez. So, you know, I have him ranked very high. I think he's going to do very well. He's got a good style. All the Daisy Fresh guys, to be honest, like all of them. For me personally, I think they have a perfect style for ADCC. They're very aggressive. They can wrestle, they can play guard, they can pass. So I, I'm very excited to see what Daisy Fresh is going to be doing. Um even more excited now after the rules meeting. Uh, I think the, the way the, that this tournament works is perfect for me and Couch. I'm just gonna unload the clip and just put it all out there. The rules meeting helped a lot. There's a lot of shit I didn't know in there. So I'm really excited to go for my attacks. Like obviously 150 people is a lot of fucking people for anything, especially one division. where You have some of the best guys around in there, if not the best guys around, so. I know every match is gonna be a barn burner and it's gonna be a banger, so I feel good, I feel ready. ADCC is the UFC of Jiu Jitsu. It's you know it's the Premier League. Being able to be a, in the bracket for that is like is, is pretty monumental coming from where I was. And it's it's just always been a goal, man. I just see it every day. I've been seeing me winning these trials and me being able to win an ADCC championship. Ready to bang. I'm like, I always get really excited and really nervous and anxious. The morning of the competition, you got any change? No, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> fucking, um, I was thinking like three or four years ago, you know, you look up matches, we were watching fucking YouTubes and shit. Me and Catch would sit there and study tape and stuff together, and we'd look at all these like brown and black belts that were really good, and it's just wild, like, you know, now. Not only is he one of them, but we're hanging around those kind of people like every day and all the time, and they're a part of our team, a staple on our team, you know? So it's just wild how the stuff comes full circle. It doesn't matter like where you're from, what you are, that stuff just comes to you, you know? So just pretty bloody cool. You know, thinking about it at bloody 6 a.m., walking along the boardwalk on the way into the ADCC trials.
Let's go. Underway. Easily the hardest part was the weight cut. Now I just got to learn how to write so I can sign this waiver. I submit my application for participation in the ADCC North American Qualifier. Fuck. <laughs> I really don't know what to put for nationality. I was thinking about putting Appalachian. Would that be legal though? Couch. Honky. Honky? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Please turn. Take this. Help me! Oh wow. You drink it. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Shit! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, that was so much syrup. Can we uh, switch out the syrup so I don't have to use that? <laughs> I'm excited as fuck, dude. I'm I, I could compete right now, I feel like, so I'm ready to bang. What are you doing? I'm not touching the one you got scratched your mouth on. You can't shoot it now. Sure, she said shoot it Don't fucking touch this here. Get the fucking one. She's gonna play from us first. Hey! <laughs> Do you see how much his body bent? <laughs> That's time I wanted to be too tired. So Cash came away with a really, really great seed, and George has taken the long route. So uh, my expectations of them are both to submit their way into the semifinals and then have a match. I would be excited to see that. So we feel privileged to just be here and competing with everyone. And uh, it's our first time to, to be a part of all this. So uh, it's a, a little nerve wracking, but uh, you know, we're just all excited to be here and get it in. George looks like he's from Step Up, the movie. That's a dance movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, dude, you look like you fucking <laughs> yeah, exactly. break one down real quick, dude. This is for your muscles. Do you want to use it now or after your matches? What the fuck is that? Do you want to use it now or after your matches? It's, it's great. Uh, recovery. Deep penetration. The same way you shred cheese, you shred the you shred the scar tissue. You know what I mean? The restaurant um, was giving these out for free. <laughs> I know you're trying to get a shot right now, but Jacob catches up. I don't know if you know that, but Jacob catches up. You ready? Yeah, dude. Let's hey, go. Listen, hey. No, no change from the stuff before. All these guys are still, still marks. You're still the underdog. Understood. You're gonna win. Understood. We're not done shocking the world yet. Understood. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Good hey, man. I'll be over there. I'm headed over. down, 36 to go. Hell yeah. <laughs> How'd you feel? Good. I knee barred him out of bounds, basically. We rolled, he rolled, he rolled, he rolled, and I was just stuck to his leg. I grabbed his leg, and I just fucking, I hit him as hard as I could, it popped, and he tapped, but we were on the out of bounds line, so in true ADCC fashion, I was able to secure the submission. The, the first one's always like a little bit more jittery for me, as far as my nerves go. Once I get like those, those anxious cobwebs shook off, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much smooth sailing from there, as far as like, uh, my mental state goes, you know. Good? Yeah, I just gotta get my luck. Just gotta get my luck. Got food. lucky. <laughs> Remember the first half? You're just throwing as much shit at the wall as you can to see what sticks on the wall. Just remember too, man, when you get up in those points, just believe in that wrestling, dude. So just hammer. Good 
jersey. That's it, just like that the whole time. Good, that's it. Double grip. Good, George, just keep engaging. Perfect, George, perfect. George, George, 15 seconds until points hit. Stay down, George. Three seconds till points. That's it, that's it, that's it. Take your time, keep it tight, keep it tight. George, you're down too. I'm not sure how that happened. Hey, score off this, George. Score it up to the top. That's it. That's it. Circle. Take it back. Take it back. Wrestle it. Wrestle it. Score, 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 score. Five seconds, five seconds, Maddie. Time! Uh, George, I, I, he... When he came not, up? Did they gave him two for that. I don't think that was correct. I, I strongly agree. I, they, when he came up with a single leg over here and then sat back down? Man, I don't know about that. I didn't feel like that was three seconds on the feet, yeah. man. I, well, I, didn't, I didn't think so, but fuck it. George uh, dropped his first match. Just a mistake he made coming up from a sweep. Once you both come up, you're neutral. He went back down. You know, it's a three second rule where if you stand up, it, it gets counted as you're both standing. So if I pull guard, then it's two for him. So it's just small things like that that, uh, you know, you gotta think about when, when you're out there. He didn't think that it was three seconds. It was close enough to three seconds where you know, it is what it is, you know what I mean? And I got to spots where I could have finished, I should have finished, I felt strong there, and that was, that's my, my bad. I just need to go back and redrill those, work on those some more, and come back for the West Coast Trials and, and win that thing. It sucks to lose, obviously. You put a lot of work and you know, a lot of time and effort into training for this kind of stuff, and going out for a trip sucks. But it, it ain't the end of the world. We still got couch. Couch, I, I think, is going to win the whole thing. So immediately I'm off the mat, I lose, and I'm like, my mind just switches to teammate mode and cheering him on and, and you know, putting all my energy towards that. First match, it's about two hours ago, so we got him warming up, playing Mario Kart. His fingers are ready to go. First match was at 12.15 today. I haven't competed since, so. <laughs> it's 4.30, 4, what time is it, bro? 4.47. 4.47, sorry. Lord have mercy. That is what it is. It's cool. It's cool to be a part of the biggest trials, so can't complain about that much, you know? What the fuck's he saying? Hey, on the head, on the head. Don't do that again. <laughs> Second match, he actually went for the leg lock on Couch, and Couch was able to get the Roberto Jimenez style uh, back take off that. I was just pressure, 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 and I just jumped on his back like a spider monkey and held on for dear life the rest of the match. I tried to finish him a few times, he just, I couldn't get him. Good luck, Couch, good luck. I think you should just sit and entry into the inside of the hook. I don't think he can stop it. That's it, out of boy, out of boy. 
came out, sat immediately, got straight to my leg lock position. I got a submission within a minute in my third match. Jacob had three matches, one sub, one on points, and then last match went again by a heel hook. So tomorrow he's got four to take the ADCC Trials East Coast Champ title down. I think I weighed in at like as early as you could, seven or eight or something like that. Now, I didn't have my first match until about 12.15. My second match was probably about 4.45. And then my last match was about 6.45 maybe. They're like hour, hour, hour gaps between them all. It's fun. It's fun. It's hell of a day. Something like this is definitely character building. Test how much you want to, you really want to do this shit to endure all this like madness that is the ADCC trials being the biggest trials of all time. And coming out here and trying to showcase what I work on every day in Mount Vernon. I'm really excited. Yesterday, when I, when I realized I was gonna move on to day two, I was it, like so fucking happy because not everybody gets to move on to day two. It's also my first ADCC trial, so. Just get back. Oh shit! <laughs> you almost headbutted me. I was like, hey. Oh. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> oh. I didn't even tap. <laughs> There's a lot of tough guys left in the bracket still. First match, Wagner Roach's son. He's extremely tough. He's really hungry and ready to go. Achilles, uh, I know he's really scrambly, really fast. Super flexible kid. I wanted to put him in the clothes guard because it's, it's like a, better for containing people like that. Achilles Rocha picked the couch up like a sack of potatoes, like he was nothing. Hey, stay tight, stay tight on that. Open the body triangle, open it. That a boy. Make it count, make it count. Couch got the sub in about a 90 seconds uh, triangle from guard. A lot of people are definitely sleeping on Couch's jiu-jitsu. You know, I think they get a little worried about the leg locks. He's uh, on his way to being the best in the world, though. Three more, three more, and then we're in. Stay laser focused the whole time. Remember the three minutes, there's points. We sweep, come to the top, we get on points, you know what I mean? Got to control foot there on this false sweep. Nice, Jacob. Be smart here. Foot pummel, foot pummel, foot, that's it. Perfect, perfect. Jacob, windshield wipe over to Neon Belly. That's it. Hey, heavy here. Hey, be smart. Be smart. Focus, focus. I was chasing the back, heavy on top, and then I eventually got on his back and was able to get the rear naked choke. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. 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 So, Giancarlo Fidelni beat Ryan Aiken to meet up with Couch in the semis. What do you think about that matchup? Giancarlo is extremely tough. It obviously won't be an easy match at all, you know, and he's been up with uh, Bernardo Faria for a long time, and now he's moved down to Gordon and John's uh, full time, so I'm sure he's going to be sharp, and that'll be a tough, fast match. Obviously, I'm going to go with Couch by leg lock in that match, but like Giancarlo is a fucking tough dude, man, and he's always mixing it up, and he's never out of the fight. You know, he fights tooth and nail until the end, so. Remember when you're on top, you just can't give up the top position, even if you're in mount. If they roll you over from, from side control or anything, it's points. Okay. So you you. Keep, keep that position. Okay. You're going to submit them. You're going to finish them. Time's now, champ. You're the fucking man. I like it, Couch, I like it. Hands connected the whole time. Yo. 
That's the chain. That's the chain. Out of boy. Hey, now you know. Now you know. There you go, catch. Good. All right, let's go. 25 toe points here. Nice, catch. Hey, wait, catch. Wait, 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 wait. Elevate, elevate. We're not going to settle here. All the way, all the way. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Edge, up, 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 up. Up, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Use your stop. hands, buddy. Get your arm back. Watch the arm. No point. Don't stop. Move. Fight the grips. Turn, turn, turn into it. Fight the grips, cows. Don't fucking stop. Let's go. Let's go. No points. The other way, guys. Turn, turn, turn. Remember, there's, there's a fight still, semis. Got Salter, you got 40 minutes, we're gonna come back, we're gonna win third. That shit's done, forget about it now, it's all good. Hey, you didn't let anybody down, it's good. You did incredible. I'm crushed, hurts a lot, but like everyone else, I've experienced pain throughout my whole life, so it's not nothing I'm not used to. You gotta recover in these 40 minutes and get back out there and do the damn thing, it's not gonna do itself. So, gotta toughen up, get a little bit thicker skin. Each loss is a callus, each win is a is a callus, just in different areas. You know, you get used to it. You get used to winning. You get used to losing. That's how. That's how you. That's how you reach your full potential. You treat them the same. Uh, one just feels a little bit different than the other, so it's a little bit difficult sometimes. One day I'll win the trials. It won't be this weekend, and that's okay. It wasn't my time this weekend. Just wasn't my time. That's all. Uh, it'll be my time soon, though. It'll be my time soon came out really strong with like a good darts attempt. He fought it off really well. And then I went to the bottom right before the points started because I didn't want to be on top when the points did start. And then he, you know, he's, he's really strong dude, we're super technical, so it's, that, those are a dangerous combo. He uh, was able to secure the body lock pass and then like eventually forced me to expose my back. He jumped on it and was able to uh, attack me with a rear naked choke. And it hurt, it hurt me a lot because I just seen myself winning the trials. But what's done is done can't cry about it too long with, with somebody like John Salter in your way, so. Salter's a tough NCAA champ, you know, he's had tons of MMA fights and won the trials. There's still a lot of room there to win third, so we're just gonna attack the whole time, you know, just fucking uh, throw as much shit on the wall and just see what sticks. John Salter and Jacob Couch. Tighten it up, catch, tighten it up. Stay on the head. He's not gonna stay down there long. Tighten it up. Swim inside, swim inside with your grips. Swim inside with your grips. Hey, good angles here, catch, tighten it up. You're gonna attack, he's gonna stand and throw, then we're gonna get after it. Hey, let's go. Two minutes, Jacob, two minutes, perfect. Just keep keep that up, keep that up. Up, 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 close. Hey, that was it, that was close. Hey, now we know that was there. Oh, that's actually, that's an illegal slam, right? Yeah. They uh -oh. may even DQ him. I think they're going to. 
It's an immediate DQ, I believe. No, 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 don't, don't, no, 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 don't, please, let him do it. Let him finish. Let him finish, let him finish. Let him finish. We try to win the real world, baby. Jacob, keep it close. Keep it close. Nice, I like it. 25, let's finish, let's finish. Off Kim's trap. 20 seconds. We don't want to win from the DQ. Couch is winning the match. There's only two minutes left. I would rather us lose than win like that. You know what I mean? If there's 1% of mental thought that he didn't deserve to win the match, that could affect him at the biggest match in his life at some point. Now he knows he won. I thought it was fucking epic, dude. I thought it was fucking epic. Dude, you made the podium at the trials, man. That's fucking dope. Kill it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, hey. Proud of you. I'll we'll see you at the West Coast trials. Hell yeah. You just need to keep getting better and better, man. So, <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. Thank Honestly. You. Thank you. Thank you. First trials, first medals, Couch getting third place, man. I'm just so proud of him, dude. Couch was more exciting getting third than the guys who win the first place, man. He's just so happy to be out there. And he said to me right before I went out, man, I, I, I could be back in Kentucky doing, you know, nothing. So happy to see him happy, man. It, it really feels amazing. Check that bitch out. It's the best feeling in the world to see your friends succeed. I mean, imagine what it feels like to win and be on the top of the podium. Just imagine that times 20. We all put in a lot of work and to see one of our own make it, you know what I mean, and get up there, couldn't be more happy for him. I'm really happy I got this. I'm really, really happy. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I'm really happy I got it. I'm really happy I got it. This is my medal. Like, this is mine. <laughs> Sit up every night, sleep under the greatest power for Steve Irwin every single night. Yeah. I literally look up to him. The Steve's! Fuck the Stingray! You guys don't clean the floor. No, it's all about the keeping the flora and fauna. It's like you get staffed at a hospital, right? <laughs> I think right now, all together, including the parking lot and the gym, I think there's 21. It's part of the process now, I think, you know. It's a, if you want to get the full Deji Fresh experience, you know, you gotta come and stay in the gym with the boys. This is my shower set up here. You plug this in like a cigarette, and then you just put water back in here. You step in there, flip the switch on, pump turns on, and it just recycles the water. Don't buy it. This is like TVSN ad shit. It's like sham wow. <laughs> Don't buy it. <laughs> Got the PS4 set up, got the heated blanket. It's not a bad time. The only scary part's a little hole in the ceiling, but I just try to go in. I just don't look at it, and then I'm good, you know? We yeah. you got a lady you this Not anymore, y'all scared her away. <laughs> Who does she think you are? I'm <laughs> oh, just a champion. <laughs> nah, she knows I'm a white belt. <laughs>
you guys like a dog in here? I've been here for about four months now. Every day is like a movie. I couldn't be any happier. This is my young boy right here. <laughs> that encouragement, that support. I know who genuinely cares about me here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Everyone goes through the same journey. You know, I did. I was in a bad spot, and then I come here, and then I go through the same process. You know, and they get churned through, and they come out, and they come out better for it. You know. Pick it up. Let's go. People like come in and they introduce themselves to me and I'm like, I slept on that same crash pad. Like people were telling me like, I'm the reason they came here and like why they're trying to achieve their goals. It feels like the right thing because that's what it's all about. The kid from Vietnam last night just reminded me of Andrew. That's kind of how he did. He just kind of showed up. You know how it is, man. History repeats itself. They've all moved on. They have BJJ Fanatics videos. Jacob Couch just did his first one as well. They've done really well and they're not staying in the gym anymore. Spatch laying on the mat and doing his homework and the boys over there playing their video game, you know, that that was all something that you would see every day in the gym. And now I walk in and there are new faces, you know, there's a new kid doing his homework and there's a new kid playing the computer. And for me, it just all resets. I continue to do it. I'm like the old guy in the boxing gym that once they get the belt and they move on and just start with a new one. And that's all I've ever done. So it's all I ever really want to do. These guys are constantly moving in and People tell me I want to be like Andrew Wilty. I said, okay, well, we better get started then. This is, this is a hard experience. We get a plate of air with a side of imagination today. I got a bunch of fruit and chocolate stuff. Then I got these straw breakers. One for Michael Sears and one for me. We're gonna suck them together for three days. One time we shared a bed, me and George, and I'm not sure if he thought I was a lovely lady or not, but in the middle of the night I woke up and his mitts were grabbing me like that and that just gave me some PTSD. You do that, don't you, George? Hey, Spice does things to me, you know what I mean? I'm not gay, but the dude just looks good. <laughs> oh, fuck. In the shower. We get a couple gallons of water. We actually have some boiling water, so we put the boiling water in here, and then we take a shower in the bathroom. Hey, I have stuff like that right now, bro. Hey, Your body looks tense as hell, Josh. Relax, man. Shit, it's just a camera. Do a sound off for what, what, where you're from, then, just all of them. Oh, yeah, I'm from Portland, Oregon. Kind of Portland, Oregon. Hanoi, Vietnam. Mexico. Chicago Heights, Illinois. Detroit, Michigan. Oh, Mexico. I have a talk with the camera. It's a crime. You look so much better with that on. Oh. <laughs> you don't know who I think you are. Saman Khan, the famous creator of the Days Fresh series. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, okay, we're gonna quit. The love? Oh, sorry, you can you can stand up. You don't have to crouch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Just crouching. You just get low, get low, get low. Watch out, yeah, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> New house, bought this bitch cash. Well, there's like 30, 40 new people. People are realizing, oh shit, if you just put a couple hundred bucks into a van, you could make it a pretty legit living quarters. My name is Michael Pixley. Pretty much been wrestling my whole life. Fuck that guy. When he first got here, he was like the meanest human I think I've ever met in my entire life. When a dude's running his mouth to me, then I'm gonna have to handle it now, so he's fucked. <laughs> 